What is up guys, Kaidom here, and this is a requested tutorial on how to make uh, random items appear in a container. So if we go right now uh, to this container, for example, we see that we always have the same items. If we restart, we should have the same items here. Uh, and so we need a way to um, randomize uh, certain items or uh, have an option to uh, either have like static items like we have right here or have um, random items. Um, so uh, what we're gonna do here is we are uh, going to make a new struct. So I'm gonna go to the uh, content folder or here for example, and I'll make a, a new folder. I'm gonna call it random, uh, random items for example. Uh, and here we need a new struct. Um, so we'll go to uh, blueprint here and then structure. And then we'll uh, call it uh, jig random item. Um, and so for a random item, we need the ID. So what is the uh, item ID? And then we need the data table of this item ID. So we'll uh, look for a data table here. Uh, and then we'll just call it like in data table, for example. If I can spell data table, there you go. And then of course the uh, chance. Uh, so we'll say, um, uh, spawn chance for example uh, so this value should be like from uh, uh, 0 to 100 for example it doesn't really matter but uh, for now we can like have like 100% uh, by default so just to indicate that it's a from 0 to 100 or like for, from 1 realistically or something like that um, uh, so I think that's all we need we can add other uh, variables but for now uh, let's just work with this uh, just make sure that it works and then uh, later we can maybe uh, add some extra uh, restrictions uh, sometimes you might want to stop spawning items if like certain amount of items is reached or uh, maybe you just want to stop uh, generating items once you uh, spawn a certain item but anyway for now this is the basic uh, implementation and we'll uh, work with this um, so let's go to system here uh, now this is i'm working on the uh, multiplayer example but it should be the same for uh, the uh, single uh, player uh, version. So go to uh, system here, uh, pick up system, and then we have the main container box and we have an MP main container box. So this is like for the offline uh, version, the single player, and this is for the multiplayer uh, version. So make sure you uh, um, work uh, with the one that you use. For now, we'll uh, use it in the mul uh, multiplayer example. Uh, so we'll open this MP main container uh, and the way the uh, MP main container uh, works is that you can like place a, a container in the world and you can um, indicate the items that uh, should appear. As you can see here, uh, you select the ID, count, press, etc. Maybe we should add a count uh, as well, but anyway, we'll add it later if we need that. Uh, but yeah, we indicate what we need. So this is like a static, uh, static items, meaning that they will always be there. Uh, so let's go ahead and add a new array of um, items that should be random. So we have the, if we go to class defaults, well, like we should go to our blueprint here. Uh, so we have this uh, server inventory. We have, uh, not that, we have settings here. So we have container items. Uh, so this is our uh, static items and uh, we'll keep it there uh, in case we need the default uh, implementation or uh, feature. Uh, but we'll make a new uh, variable of the type of this uh, enum that we created earlier. Uh, there you go. So jig random item. Um, and then we'll uh, put it in the settings uh, category here. And we'll change the type to uh, jig random item. And we will make it an array here uh, by, select, uh, by clicking on here and make it an array. And we'll call this random random items. Uh, so the way we uh, we will do this, uh, let's first make uh, make it expose on spawn, uh, so that we can like modify it when we uh, have the item and the, uh, the MP container in the world. So the way we will do this is that if we have if the random items enum uh, not enum array is empty, then we will work with this one right here. Then we will just load the static items. If however there are any items. Uh, in this random items and we will ignore this one and then we will try to load uh, or like generate these random uh, items from here. Let's go ahead and compile here. Um, so if we now go to the world, if I select for example this guy, uh, you can see now that we have container items which have the static items that should always be there. 
And then we have the random items and I can click plus sign here. I can do, for example, uh, rifle and I can have like, uh, I can indicate where this rifle is and then I'll uh, set the ch uh, spawn chance 100% and then maybe I'll add another uh, armor here. Uh, so I'll do like armor and of course armor is in the armor uh, data table and spawn chance 100% for now. But of course, right now we don't have the implementation, uh, but here we'll go to the event graph here uh, let's go ahead and make a new function that will generate these uh, random items. So uh, we'll go to function here and we'll call it um, generate random items. So the first thing we're going to do here, like I said, uh, because we have these two arrays, if this is empty, so there is no reason to do anything. So first of all, we'll make sure that this is this has any items. Um, so we'll make uh, make sure that it has at least one item or, uh, or so. So we'll do like uh, if length is uh, greater than zero, then we'll uh, we'll move forward. So if this has any items, then we will clear this one uh, because we don't uh, we don't need it. So we'll go ahead and do, do clear, uh, and then we can s start filling this uh, array with random items from here. So um, so we need a way to roll a uh, like a certain uh, number. So uh, we'll do a for each on this uh, uh, array here. So for each items uh, inside of this random uh, thing, and then we'll make a function. Uh, maybe we don't need to make a function to roll the number, but let's just do it here. Um, so we'll do um, random float in range. Uh, so we'll do like from zero to a hundred, and we'll simply do if if break let's break that and once we break here we have our uh, items uh, of the uh, jig random items drop and then we'll uh, simply say okay if uh, if this is less or equal to this one well actually we should do the opposite so this is less or equal to this one that means we have uh, rolled successfully otherwise we uh, we miss the roll so if it's true then we'll do add and then we'll add a new item here in the container items and then we'll do make and then item id will take it from here the count will leave it minus one price uh, the price minus one and data table is this one so this is just rolling a random number from zero to 100 based on this spawn chance and then we add it here so make sure you clear that uh, that array first so that we only fill it with uh, random items and so now we need to uh, make sure we call this function before doing anything, uh, before like uh, using this uh, uh, array here. So let's uh, find out where this array is used. So it's probably in the begin play here. So, so begin play, and then it's gonna start loading these uh, items. We should probably make it um, make this um, this one uh, replicated because the server will be setting these uh, items and then of course the client needs to know about them so uh we'll go ahead and make it a replicated uh version here so replicated and then once the server uh, fill this uh, array it will be replicated so the clients will uh, use it so you then begin play uh, the player controller is locally controller uh, and then we'll do that so i think that I think we should be fine here, uh, but um, first of all, let's go ahead and do a sequence here. And then we'll do has authority. So if we are the server here, has authority, switch has authority. If we are the server, then we will call this function right here. First thing we're gonna do is generate these random items first. Um, so I think right now it should be actually functional. So. Right now we have a rifle that spawns every time since we have like a 100% chance and then we have a uh, armor here uh, that spawns also 100%. So let's go ahead and change this to a 25% chance uh, spawn. Uh, let's go ahead and play here and then we'll uh, check this here and as you can see we have the uh, rifle always spawn because it's 100% uh, but for the armor we have it as a 25% chance and we still don't have it. Uh, so we'll we'll have to keep trying, of course, to hit that 25% uh, chance uh, spawn. Maybe we should increase it a little bit, but that's not a problem. We will eventually 
uh, hit the spawn chance of 25% as you can see there. Um, so if you need something to always spawn, obviously go ahead and make it like 100%. Otherwise, you can, of course, uh, uh, make certain items have lower chance. So if we make this rifle like 50% uh, chance, for example, uh, you're going to notice that sometimes it gets spawned, sometimes not. So this time it, it spawned and next time it's probably not going to spawn. So let's go. Yep. Both of them actually. So uh, yeah. So there you go. Uh, this is uh, a fairly easy uh, implementation. Uh, let's go ahead and try as a client just make sure that it works. So uh, I'm using 25 here So if you uh, select as client it actually starts a dedicated server uh, and let's go ahead also to uh, Increase the spawn chance of the rifle here uh, by 75% uh, chance. So um, Let's go ahead and go to the container and we should likely have the uh, rifle there Let's go ahead and drag to our secure container and it should be fine here. Make sure that we can also drop it. Yep. So as you can see, it's uh, replicated and everything works as intended. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. And until then, this is Kaidoom signing off.